We ro we rolling? We rolling, we rolling. Day one of free agency in the WNBA. What's happening, everybody? I hope y'all are having a great day wherever you are. So let's talk about it. Let's get into it. Let's tap into what's happening in the WNBA. Top of my list is Skylar Diggins. I said I did a video on Skylar Diggins' free agency maybe a month or so ago. Skylar Diggins, shout out to you. Very, very happy that she landed in a good spot. Y'all know free agency can be really crazy, especially when you're coming off a tumultuous situation as she was in Phoenix, where she and Diana Taurasi are rumored, and it's on television, not to get along. And, of course, teammates took sides. Yeah, that's that happens a lot. I mean, look, if we listen, look at the history of WNBA. Friction is not. It's not new. Teammates not getting along, coming to blows, not new. We can go back to Houston in the 90s and early 2000s. We can go to Connecticut. We can go to New York. Personalities are going to clash. People need to be in good situations. Very happy for Skylar Diggins that she landed in a good spot. Why is Seattle a good spot? I was talking to some friends yesterday. Actually, I was on my brother's podcast, and they were asking me about free agency and where I thought people were going, or maybe it was a conversation, the podcast I was on before that. But anyway, people were like, where do you think Skylar Diggins is going? I said, where do you think Skylar Diggins is going? Oh, I think she's going to end up in Connecticut. This is before the, the other point guard trade. Oh, she might end up in, what was the other place? Atlanta. I said, Skylar Diggins is going to Seattle. It just makes sense. Reuniting with Jewel Lloyd. They played together for one year, I believe, at Notre Dame. I think Skylar was a senior. Jewel was a freshie. It's a match made in heaven. Jewel Lloyd needs a point guard who knows what she's doing, needs a point guard who can create and facilitate that's going to be a high-octane backcourt. Skylar Diggins-Smith, Jewel Lloyd, that's crazy. That's the, that's the making of a great backcourt, not in two years, next year. We're talking two veterans now, right? So Seattle, good get for getting Skylar Diggins. Skylar Diggins, as we know, played in Dallas. I didn't really understand the trade to Phoenix, but, hey, things happen. She gets to Phoenix having great seasons, and then she and Diana almost do like some MMA type stuff. Is it MMA or MME? Well, I can't remember. But they started to fight. They were about to fight in a national television game. So it got bad. And we knew who was going to win that. Let's keep it a buck. We knew who was going to, who, whose side the organization was going to take. We knew that. Diana Taurasi is playing with the Phoenix Mercury, has been there for 20-plus years. They were not going to fire Diana Taurasi even if she was wrong. Let that be a lesson to you youngins out there. Okay, whatever the lesson is, let that be a lesson. So Skylar Diggins in Seattle, great organization. Let's let's get serious for here for a second, all right? <laughs> Skylar Diggins in Seattle, great organization, loves her women's basketball, constantly supporting, elevating the game through their, their, their front office, their leadership. I dig, I mess with the Seattle Storm, one of our premier organizations in the WNBA. And Skylar Diggins deserves a place that appreciates her talents and appreciates her gifts. And I see Seattle finishing a lot better than they finished this year. I gotta take a look at the entire team to, to make my predictions before the season starts. But right now, that's a, that's a boss move. I love that. I love that move to get Skylar Diggins here. All right, next. Next on the ballot is Somebody just went somewhere. <laughs> Somebody just went somewhere. I just saw this. I was literally getting ready to, to talk about this. I'm like, what was that? What was that move that I just saw? Well, I know one move we can talk about is where is Neka Ogumike going? Some people are saying she's going to Connecticut. Some people saying she, I mean, Neka can go a lot of places. She's, hey, let's talk about that. Let's talk about who should take Neka Ogumike and where should she be looking to go? Excuse me. A talent like Neka Ogumike, you're new to Neka Ogumike out of Stanford, played with the Los Angeles Sparks her entire career. Rookie of the year when she came in the league in 12 and has continued to have all-star year. Had a, an amazing, an MVP season in 2023. Didn't win that, or did she win that? Anyway, y'all know what I'm talking about. But had a great season. Had a great season. Always been a fan of Neka because I like the way she plays the game. So when you start to look at the teams that could use – Neka Ogumike, who could leverage the talents, the skills, the, the leadership, the package. She's one of the players in the WNBA who literally is the package. She has, she's a total package. 
She plays inside. She plays out. She plays hard. She runs the floor from what I hear, and I hear it all. Good teammate. Good person to have in your organization. So it says something that she wanted out of Los Angeles. I'm just saying. You ain't hear from me, but I'm, it says something that she wanted out of Los Angeles. And that's okay. People move. People leave. But when somebody's been in your organization at who's – at the echelon that Neka Ogumike is, and then they say, peace, I'm out. Yeah, it does say something. And so a change is being made. She's happy. She's excited. I actually saw Neka did it, called a couple of uh, Dallas Wings games. I called it when Los Angeles was in there and got an opportunity to talk to Neka about her time in Los Angeles. And I pretty much figured she was going to leave Los Angeles this year just based on that conversation. Didn't she? No names were called. No, nobody was hurt in the making of the video of the conversation. But you can tell. You can tell when players are unhappy with their situations. And you can tell when they're discontent. And you can tell when they want to get out. So shout out to NECA that she is going to a new home. And let's talk about where that might be. So I don't have my all my paperwork in front of me. But I'm hearing that there is a good chance let me, let me check these notes real quick. You know, y'all are getting this in real time. You know what I'm saying? I'm hearing New York in New York. <clears throat> Sorry, I had a little. Oh, I can say no. Don't. Don't do that. Don't do that. I had a little something in my throat and it didn't come out right. But New York. New York is where I'm hearing NECA might go. Okay, so we got Sabrina Unescu, Stewie, John Coyle Jones decide to stay put. Neko Gumake, Sloot, Courtney Vander Sloot. That's a bad A5. That's a, that's a great five. So we're hearing that the super team gets more super. That might be the case. And we know they got the money. We know that. Shout out to the owners of the, of the New York Liberty who, who, stand on business when it comes to the WNBA. I, I, I mess with them for sure. Okay. So NECA might go to New York. I like that. I'm just going to, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end it with that. NECA might go to New York. Who else is a free agent? Let's see who we got out here. Well, what do y'all think about, about who just got cord? What's my girl, Elena Deladon. I mean, she can still make a move, but what do y'all think about where she goes? I, I like the fact that Elena wants out of DC. Sometimes, y'all, I know y'all fall in love with these players. Y'all think they should live and die in these organizations. But sometimes you just you just got to get out. You need a fresh start. And Elena, with her injuries and Washington's unfortunate end to last season, that last play just, just killed me. But I digress. I think Elena needs to get out. I see D.C., I see the Mystics getting very stale. I absolutely see, feel them being very, oh, very stale, <clears throat> extremely stale. And Elena getting out will shake up some things, open the door for some other kinds of players to get in there and give Elena a different opportunity. I don't see Elena, depending on where she goes, <clears throat> I don't see Elena, and maybe she's not looking for this, I don't see her going in and being like this big time starter with these big time minutes. But a new atmosphere, a new neighborhood could be exactly what Elena needs to play her final three seasons in the WNBA, unless she gets miraculously healthier. I'm looking at, you know, three seasons max. All right, who else is out there? What else we got? I, do, I just saw a trade with um, Ari. And, oh, Canada, one of my favorite guards, top five guards for me in the W right now. Canada from Los Angeles, great season, 23, going to Atlanta, already leaving the ATL to go in Los, to Los Angeles. I like that. I like that. I think those players, first of all, there are, there's not two speedier players in the WNBA. That is, for me, an equal trade. There's not like, what are you doing giving up Ari? What do you, excuse me, no. I like that. You got a young point guard, speedy, fast. You know, I love that trade. I think that is fair. Good stuff happening between Canada going to 
ATL, I heard Canada wanted out, and then Ari going to to Los Angeles. I mess with that. I think that's good. I think that's gonna be I think that's gonna be real good for Los Angeles. For sure. ATL just reloading though. ATL a, a fresher year, a, a more experienced team on the floor. I think that's gonna be good. All right, we got we got some others happening. I didn't even know this was happening. I saw this on social media. Megan Gustafson, Guff, Guff, Gustafson. That's hard to say, y'all. Leave me alone. That's hard to say. Um, Courtney Williams and Alana Elena Smith signed with Minnesota. Courtney Williams is Courtney Williams is one of those players who her value is high because she she just she's just a baller, just a baller. So wherever she goes, she's going to be able to contribute. You know, really high octane score. Not a great shooter, but a great score and and a great defender and and a, and a hype passionate player. So, uh, congratulations to Courtney Williams and Elena Smith who played with the Aces going to Minnesota. So that's all I got in this. Oh, last one. That's not all I got. To Satu Sabali. All right, and Kalani Brown who was a restricted free agent, they're going to stay put in Dallas. So Dallas, Dallas, who almost got almost got there this past year, looks to reload and uh, kept some key pieces in place. I hope they use Kalani Brown better and differently coming into this season because she definitely deserves it. She's a different kind of 6'7 player, and I want Dallas to use her better this year. But that's all I got for you for free agency. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. What do y'all think about who went where and who should go where? Let me know in the comments. I'll see you guys.